my name is Sonia Harley, here at the Ricardo Montalban Theater with Actors Reporter. And we are here for Child of the 70s webisode number three. So it's going to be super fun. There's a lot of people coming in the door. Let's see who we can meet. I saw the webisode. It was really, really cool. I like how simple it is. Is that what you had in mind when you were, um, you know, creating the script and creating the atmosphere for the show? Uh, correct. Yeah, we actually, it's Michael Vaccaro as the creator and writer and the star and Michael together and then they brought us in as producers fabulous writers and we love what we read Myself, and we had to be involved. Steven and Carrie Droll associate okay. producers it's that old school kind of dry but then you get it the 70s style, the 70s style <laughs> humor it's I love it I and love it ropes it. in a little bit of every sitcom and kind of combines it all into I one with, with some That's real it. heartfelt oh, moments yeah. I mean there is a comedy but there is some very meaningful, you know, scenes within the episodes yeah. that that ever, all of us have experienced in their life, one okay. time or another. Okay, well my so. question is, so do you have set writers for the show? Or do you accept writers if they write in and say, hey, I think this would be cool for like web series number four or something like that? Uh, we have set writers for season three, but um, we're always open to okay. uh, the possibility. So okay. keeping That's every avenue open. We're also open to um, new actors for the upcoming season four. Oh good, that would be me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. So we, we've had such a blast working on season three. Great experience. Great, experience. Great cast and crew. Fabulous crew. Okay. And we actually um, screened season one and two as a feature at our venue called the Filmmakers Gallery in Long Beach. Filmmakers Gallery in Long Beach. Yes, which we own together, Stephen okay. and myself. Our we brought uh, that whole experience of season one and two to catch up. Okay, so if you guys want to catch up, make sure you tune in to Actors Reporter. We're going to keep you up to date on what's going on with the web series, okay? I'm here with... Stephen Roach. And... Paul Belcito. Yay, guys. I will see you later. Bye. Bye. Amazing freaking show. It's hilarious. Do you find yourself laughing like crazy? Well, I'm, I'm usually drunk. So, yes. All the time I laugh. Not because it's funny, but just because I'm drunk. That's not true. It is funny. It's very funny. <laughs> it is funny, um, and I uh, I'm I'm super super proud of it. And yeah, and I and I if I can make people laugh and I can make myself giggle, then I mean that's if if I giggle, then I feel like okay, I can do it. Exactly. Okay, let me. Okay, so here's my question: When you did the first webisode, yes. did you think that it was gonna go this far? No, not not at all, not in the slightest. I actually thought that it was just you know be a tiny little thing and we'd be on YouTube, you know, and I you know some of my friends would watch it and we'd you know we'd sit and have some drinks and giggle, uh, but no, and then it, but then it turned into this big thing. Uh, we had a first season and then we we thought well we have to have a second season and we did that and then the second season got much more ambitious. Uh, there were more actors and there was a bigger crew and it was a bigger set, um, and then uh, and then we thought well. We left it with a cliffhanger, season two, so we had to do a season three. And there's a, there is, in fact, a, a cliffhanger in season three as well, which I'm not going to tell you about. But um, but each year it gets more ambitious. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We have 40 actors in the cast this season. Yay! Right, and some amazing people. You just saw Judy Tenuta and Sheena Metal and Susan Olsen and Ted Lange. My God, Ted Lange is in it. I mean, Isaac the bartender, he's not here tonight, unfortunately, because he's doing a play. But... I mean, we just, we are blessed with an amazing cast. I trust the actors to come with what they do, you know, and I just facilitate, basically. Okay. Um, and, and our goal this year was to make the show faster. Okay. Um, just really trusting that the audience is going to be smart okay. and we'll be able to roll with everything quickly. Yeah, I got it. And also to add a little bit more heart into the show. Yeah. That was my goal. And okay. I think we uh, we were very successful in yeah, that. Yeah, get them laughing and get them crying. Yeah, yeah. let them feel okay. something. So right? here's my question for you. Um, is there a lot of improv or is it heavily scripted? No, it's totally scripted. However, there are moments where I love to leave the camera on okay. and don't and not and not yell cut. Do and you tell them that you're no. leaving it on? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, because I mean, you, you can find it, you know, those are some of the best moments. Exactly, they Right. Are. Okay, so here's that question. Yes say a major network says oh my god I love child of the 70s and we want to pick it up how do you feel about that would you do that oh that would dis that would disappoint me a great deal <laughs> of course that would be awesome I mean I'm I'm really a novice at this I'm new at this I'm a I, I was a performer on Broadway I, okay. I've choreographed I've directed shows but I've never done you know I've never directed on film okay, so 
this whole season was me kind of practicing and learning how to do it. Well, I was a child in the 70s. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it was fun to work on it the third season. Yeah. yeah. So is it really that different from the 70s to right now? Like huge difference? Yeah, it's different. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Someone had told me that you uh, were a part of a show called Facts of Life. Look right in there and tell me. Yes. You were on Facts of Life? Yes, I've seen I was. That, that show a few times with Tootie and Blair. Blair. Oh, this is a legend right here, people. I feel very honored. Thank you. Thank you. I feel excited standing next to you because your energy is amazing. Thank you. Thank so you. you're a part of the show. I am. What I character do you play? I play Kiki Lawrence. She is rather a ball buster because she has uh, she had a big big TV show back in the 70s. Okay. And it's one that <clears throat> Carlo uh, Prudente, my assistant, he was very uh, it was a big fan of the show. So I made him become my assistant and dragged him to California and he has all kinds of problems. But um, I am not able to get back on television and it is making Kiki very, very angry. A lot of anger this year. And Kiki's not, she doesn't like that. Apparently. No, no. And I'm not getting my due, you know. I was told that you're in a lot of scenes that one I there. am. I am. I've been with the show since the beginnings, and okay. Ann and I have worked a lot together. And, and you know, you know Ann Walker. If you just talk to her, yeah, that's fun stuff. I know. I get to walk. I get to work with Ann. The humor is so hilarious. She's awesome, and <laughs> it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a fun. I, I'm getting to play with my friends. That's all I'm yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it seems like there's parts that are going to be like gripping for people to actually see. There's gripping parts, you know, where they get they they get caught up in the laughter and the humor. Hopefully. And then I heard that there's a poignant moment that's there somewhere. I, every once in a while, there's a little bit of that. My character doesn't do poignant. No, no. I'm sort of like, if you if, if this show was like the Mary Tyler Moore show from the 70s, okay, okay if you picture that as like in Michael's Mary, I am like Phyllis. I'm the one that nobody likes. Nobody likes. Right, so okay. I... He had to live with me last season, like we're roommates, and I, nobody likes me. But I love myself in the show, so exactly. I think I'm wonderful. Okay, so tell me this, working with all of the actors... Working with actors like Ann Walker? Yes, I just interviewed Ann. She yes. interviewed me. And they're asking me how wonderful it is to work with you, and I lied, and it's fantastic. Good. I feel the same about you, darling. Oh, I know, I love okay, her. Okay, so what's your favorite scene? You guys have a scene together? Well, and that's what we're making sure happens this next We didn't year. have enough this season. Not We've had enough. more in the past. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So you do um, the sound, for the music for the show. Yes, do music so. for the show. Not the theme song, but other music for the show. I love the theme oh, yes. song. The theme song is wonderful. But I came in after that was done, and uh, like a Vaccaro heard my stuff, and I kind of do that 60, 70 niche with all live musicians, great musicians uh, in town. So. Um, I had a lot of it already done, and then we added some more things. And you know, it's a lot of fun. That period is so melodic and fun and quirky. It's uh, so nice to see and hear something like that, as opposed to a lot of stuff that happens today that's very non-musical, just kind of beats and things going. I'm here with Chuck. Chuck is looking handsome. Tell me, Chuck, child of the 70s has this crazy energy about it with all this humor. It's kind of dry, but then really not. Like, did you think that it was going to be like this? No, um, you know, you, you hope to do it every year. Uh, I think last year, last season, we got a little sidetracked, but this year we're back on track with a new director, Tom Pardo, and a new editor, Doug Dangerfield. Uh, I think Michael, who has created it, it's, he's found the right recipe of, of, of camp and drama and, and fun, and um, I think we're back on track huge. This, this season. So you've, you've been a part of the web series from the beginning? I have. I have. From day one. Same character? Same character. Yeah. Wow. Fun character to play. Very fun. It's a fun fun set that was creative out of fun and, and, and camp and just bad taste and I think it all just works. The recipe works and everyone involved wants it to work and wants it to go forward so it's, there's not one bad seed. All right, I'm actually standing next to one of the producers. Yes. For which season? Season three. Season that what we're watching tonight. Yes. Yay! All right. So let me ask you a question. When you were writing the show, right? 
It has like dry humor a little bit, but it's really funny. Mm -hmm. You guys are purposely doing that, right? Well, of course, yeah. I mean, we need to entertain the audiences, so. What sets uh, this show apart from like some of the other shows that are out there? Well, I mean, I've never ever read a script like this before, and I've never had, or I've never seen this type of idea for a show before, and yeah. I think it's totally unique and awesome, so. I love it, I think it's so fun. I want you to look at the camera. Sorry, I'm, I'm like looking at you. Tell them out there. How you got started as one of the producers, what, how did you get to be on the show and write for the show? Well, I worked with Michael on the first season, I think it was, as an extra, and then I we just talked and talked, and we've become friends over a really long time, and now I'm a producer, which is super fun, and he, we had lunch all the time and stuff, and now in season four, I'm going to be acting, so I'm really excited. D-A-R-I-O. Dario is an artist. He sings. I am. Right? I you am. do. So have you heard the theme song for um, Child of the 70s? I haven't. I haven't. This is the first time I'm hearing of all this. So I'm super excited to hear it. You know what? I went on today and I looked at it and I heard the theme song. It's so catchy. It's really fun. Yeah. I'm but if excited. you were to write a theme song, since you are an artist, how would it go? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> it Child of the 70s. Exactly. It'd right? probably be something funny and kitschy and tongue in cheek. Absolutely. <laughs> you should write the theme song. We should write it. <laughs> Absolutely. This Tuesday, May 5th, Revolution, it actually debuted at number seven on the best sellers list. Ow! That's awesome. Exactly. The song is number 21 in the country okay. and uh, number seven on the dance chart. So I'm well, super you know excited. We, 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 I'm okay. actually getting ready to go on tour. I'm Are doing 68 cities in the U.S. That's my first headlining tour, so I'm excited. Yeah. Hey, I'm here with Deanna. We're on the carpet. We're here for Child of the 70s. I am definitely showing up to support. I I watched a few episodes. I love Kat Kramer, uh, what she's done. Um, the show's very, very funny, and the um, the theme song is very catchy. Very catchy. It is. I was singing it. You're right. I was like, I can't get it out of my head. I'm like, shoot, okay. Now, if they gave you a role on the show, Child of the 70s, what would it be? You know, I, 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 I would, I, I think I would have to be like the weird hippie girl, like just the random one that shows up and puts in her two cents and just like the random, like, what is that? But you know, they, yeah. they find it funny yeah. and I'm kind of offbeat like that. So, yeah. So. Thank you so much for stopping Thank you by. so much. Okay. Have a good night. How are you doing this evening? I'm, I'm good. I'm I good. Love, I love the eyes. Like, I oh, got yeah. glitter on my eyes, too. Yeah, I'm a glitter, I'm a glitter girl. She's a I glitter love. girl. And you know, speaking of glitter, what makes Child of the 70s glitter to you? Well, first of all, it's going to be so much fun because, you know, we're, we're all, what I love is we're basically all the same age and we play, I play somebody's parent, but we're really, <laughs> wow. It's funny. I No, it's really cute. It's. It's gonna, I can't wait, it's gonna be, I think it's three episodes. Yeah. So, we are allowed to improvise. I was gonna ask you that, that was my next question. Yeah, because, uh, you know, if you come up with something, yeah. you know. I play Michael's father, okay. um, and this year my wife was Judy Tenuta. Uh, so you uh, cannot beat that. No, you can't beat that. Um, in fact, we're thinking of running away together. I think she's married, but it's over. It's over now. Okay. I probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't say that. But, well, yeah. And the way she's dressed tonight, I'll follow her. I saw that. Oh I God. want that outfit. I think it's so cute. She's, yeah, she's from uh, Oak Park. I'm from Chicago. I didn't know her then, yeah. but um, I sure knew her work, and I knew the accordion. So, yeah. How does it feel being a part of the cast for Child of the 70s? Is it, um, is it different from any other show that you've worked on? Or yes. Yes, it is, because there are so many people who have been around a while, and there I was on a set with these people I'd seen, yeah. and the thing was there was that first... 30 minutes or an hour of like, yeah. uh-oh, now what? Everyone turned out to be family the last couple of years. It's family. Um, and it's fun. Uh, you take the script and tweak it a little bit. They'll, they will help you out. If you can do something great, they'll incorporate it. I like that. Awesome. So the director is amazing when he allows you to do that. I think I'm the only one who's, who was around in the 70s from the cast when I drink beer and get loaded. Can I drink and get in the, loaded with you? Yes, in the dinner scene. In the dinner scene. I'm talking about... Only in the scene, on the web on the web series. I love the show. It's hilarious. My, myself, cannot relate. Uh, that was 30 years before my time. I know. <laughs> if they were to bring the show to like a major network, would you watch it? Yes. I would too. Hands I down. totally yes, would. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I love directing. I love filmmaking. But uh, first, I, I love acting. Um, being an actor, um, 
I love everything. You know, when people ask me, do you want to go more towards comedic work or dramatic work? I love it all. I mean, I, it's it's definitely a challenge both ways. Yeah. Um, but I, I love to, the dramatic uh, work, probably in particular, but I love them both. Okay, so now say Child of the 70s wanted to write you in. What, yes. would, what would your role be? What would it be? I don't know. I, I would be the... Uh, I, I would be the... Uh, the bad kid. I'd be the punk kid exactly. of one of them. Yeah. That's like doing all the bad things. Yeah, like slick, like down. <laughs> Dude, yes. Write that in. Hi, guys. My name is Sonia Harley, and I am standing here next to the beautiful Kat Kramer. You know, what, which uh, episode are you in? We are here for an amazing webisode. You guys need to check out. It's right here called Child of the 70s, and this beautiful lady right here is a part of it. So I'd like to know which, um, which, which, which episode are you in? Well, I haven't seen the whole thing. I'm in season three. And so this is tonight is only season three. We're going to be screening, from what I understand, the whole season. Okay. I'm not sure which webisodes I'm in, but I'm in throughout. And it's my debut in Child of the 70s. Yeah. Well, you know what, Kat? Actually, I got a chance to watch it today. I right. love it. It freaking rocks. It's so yes. funny. Like, the humor is super cool and quirky, you know? And you get to wear super fun clothes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Only it takes place modern day, and but it has a 70s theme, so tonight we're all in 70s attire. Yeah, but I'm, oh. really, I'm looking so forward to seeing it because I've only seen the trailer yeah. and one little scene, so it'll well, be great I'm to see so this. I'm so glad that you're going to be in it. I'm glad that we had a chance to talk with you here on the carpet. Are you excited about your role? Well, the thing is I play three roles. Ah. I play one character, and I don't want to give too much away, and okay. she plays two roles. But I'm hoping in season Does four, look, you maybe, different well, in you'll have to wait till you okay. see it. Okay. But it's um, it's a it's a character that I play a soap opera diva okay. in the best sense of the word. But she's really a diva diva, kind of like a like a Susan Lucci, but more so. And then she plays two roles on the soap, Bridge Across Tomorrow. But um, I'm hoping to actually play even more roles in season four. So that's I hope you do because I think I'm you look fabulous. Away, but that's Don't that would be a goal of mine. So you guys better watch it. Kat's gonna be there, looking so amazing in the web series. So you guys have to check it out. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. You. And also one thing, I'm gonna be. Uh, I do I'm a lot of things coming up, but I just announced that I've been chosen to ride the Rainbow RV. Uh, float and the Palm Springs Pride Parade in Palm okay. Springs, November 8th. So that's a really big, okay. big thing. Pride so, Parade, yeah. November yep. 8th in, in Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Cat Kramer. Uh, <laughs> I always get a lot of giggles when I, I when I give my name. Yeah. Like, oh, I like Hennessy. Like, mm. yeah. So, how do you like your character? Uh, I love it. I got to dress myself. I got to be just very fun and yeah. goofy, and and all the cast members were great. And I got to work with, I got to work on it like for like four different scenes, four different days. It was a lot of fun. I wow. can't wait to see what happens, yeah. D were you, so you're a part of which, which series? One, uh, two, or three? Child, uh, the third, third. Third one, okay. But the second series they filmed in my home. So if you look at season two and you see lime green or orange walls, it's my home. Your wall, Perfect. your house has lime green walls? Absolutely. His house has lime Absolutely. green walls. It went from white to lime green. I got bored of the <laughs> white, man. So they yeah. came for the 70s. I noticed oh, that a lot of people. This old thing, you know, I just, <laughs> just something I just threw on, you know. We're here at the Ricardo Monteblan Theater, and I am here with the young lady who plays the grandma. So, is that fun, the role that you have? Oh, I love grandma. She's a lot of fun. We've had a great time with her over the three seasons. Does she cause havoc? She can. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't always necessarily, but she's a big fan of Susan Lucci. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Let, let me ask you a question. Um, what do you think sets Child of the 70s apart? Like, what makes it so special to you as an actress? Oh, well, it's family. It's sort of like, uh, gee, my uncle has a barn, let's put on a show. Okay, and how did you become part of, of the show? Oh, I've known Michael for several hundred years. <laughs> we did. He's a vampire too? Yes. He did, uh, he and I did a show together back in, must have been 91 or 92. And we became friends, and we've stayed friends ever since. I'm a sponsor of, of Child of the 70s, and I'm in this. I'm in one of the episodes this season, and I'm going to be a recurring character next season. I'm going to be, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Did they write in a script for you? Yeah, so we're working on the script right now. 
See, that's awesome. When they write you in. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really, really fun. I can't tell you too much about it, okay. but it's going to be a really cool uh, plot line. I am a child of the 70s, so that's really great. But I just think it's an amazing production. It's an amazing cast, amazing crew. It's a really great, tight team. They've done a really good job. Doug, Dangerfield, mm -hmm. editing the show. There was a lot of language. I mean, there was a lot of cra I watched part of it. It's, oh, you're what you call it or whatever. I love that. That's my favorite scene. So did you have to edit out a lot of stuff or you just left it all in? I just left it all in. Straight 70s in. style, right? Left it as much as I could. And try to make it run smoothly and just uh, make it look slapstick. Just, uh, it would just uh, try to make sure all the lines ran one, from right, one right to another one and uh, just made it try to my biggest thing was making sure all the scenes ran smoothly. So you, so there wasn't a big change between scenes, between a person's movement, between one scene and another one. Like they're not like this and then this right away. Yeah. In editing the show, we finished the, the fifth episode near the end, and it was very, it was, it was really almost emotional. And we were sitting there watching it, and we, the room was quiet. And we're like, oh my god, this is crazy. We know exactly what's going to happen. But they, Michael, his character, Carlo, just just some crazy, ah, oh, just really, really good. You know, get just that just motivated me to say, okay, I'd like to come back next season and see what happens. Who better? Who better? Who, who better? Who better? Who better? Okay, so here's my question to you. Yeah. What makes Child of the 70s webisode so special? Oh, listen to me. First of all, I'm not going to give away my age, but Child of the 70s is brilliant. I can never get enough. I mean, I dream of Jeannie. That's funny. <laughs> God bless. But you know, you know, uh, everybody's interested in that time. It was a wonderful and amazing time. I grew up during that time, and I'm so fond of of of, of John Travolta and all this great stuff. Is somebody giving? Anyway, I love the '70s. Child of the '70s is a hit because. We have a thirst for that. We want to know what happened. Where are you? What's going on? Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. You're right. And you're thank so you. Right. Thanks, Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Give me a high five. Oh, fine, fine. That's fine. 70s, right? Pepper. That's 70s. Pepper, Pepper, I love you, Pepper J. You're the best. God bless you. Peace. Your name is? Sonia Harley. Sonia Harley? Yes. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you too. a fantastic smile. Thank you. You get to see a lot of people that you've known in the past in different roles and see them in completely different roles now. And um, as an actor, getting to see people that I've watched on TV as, as, a, as a young guy and, and, and see them do these different roles, it's just kind of delightfully fun. Watch Child of the 70s. If you think you had an effed up childhood, you're going to feel a lot better after you see this, okay? And it's fun. It makes you hotter. It makes you sexier. Um, watching it uh, attracts people to you. And I don't know. Oh, that's good. That's, I feel sexy already. No. <laughs> you want to see some more of my antics playing an entirely different character than I did in uh, Sorted Lives. I think that's more than a good enough reason for you to tune in to Child of the 70s. Angel. I thought I found my angel. But I guess I don't know. You found your angel with an extra L. With an extra L. <laughs> so if a major network said, oh my God, we want to pick up the show, like CBS or something like that, how would you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, sign me up. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful Michael Vaccaro. He's awesome. And we're very proud to be a part of his vision. Sit down and tune it in. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of laughs. It's a lot of silliness. We had a great time doing it and we hope you'll enjoy it. Watch the web series Child of the 70s. It's an amazing show. I'm a producer. I'm a cast member. And I'm very excited about the show. It's a great show. Michael Vaccaro is amazing and it's an amazing team. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> You're watching.